Hey, there's another edition of Clean Ghana Camping, the Joy Clean Ghana Camping. Well, today the train is docking at Choco in the Ablikuma South sub metro of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Well, today we're doing a house to house inspection of you know sanitary conditions, how indeed uh, people are adhering uh, to the bylaws of the assembly, even within um, their homes. And you know that there's a plastic waste man is that being confronting this particular community, which is just about a hundred meters away from the Atlantic Ocean. So this is where the focus is going to be. Wanna follow me? My name is Mr. Clean Ghana. <laughs> Let's talk to um, Madame Florence Cucci. She's head uh, public health division of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Madam, uh, grateful. Today, you say what? Well, we, we, are, we are inspecting homes. Why homes? Yeah, today we are inspecting homes because the environmental health, uh, health promotion, we have series of uh, thematic areas that we do. We do for, we have the house to house inspection, we have the market sanitation, we have the operations, and there are so many. Then today, we want to test the house to house inspection and see, we want to see whether really, really people are going according to the bylaws of Accra Metropolitan Assembly 2017. Each house needs to register with an accredited waste collection company. We want to see that whether the houses around here, they have registered. If they have not registered, there is the likelihood that waste are being thrown either into the beach or into the drain. And we also check whether they, are, they also took opportunity on the gamma toilet provision to see whether they have toilet facilities in their homes. If they do not have toilet facilities too, this shows that they do it by the beach. Why? We want to unfold this story here today. And so that's what we're going to unfold I mean, this edition of the Joy Clean Ghana campaign. So you want to go with us um, as we begin the very exercise that we're here for today. Mm. And so she's been ordered to just move to allow the um, officers access into this particular chamber, which uh, what, what what they use it for. Madam, what will be a ha ena. Modern Yama, modern town, the cooling in a hanging a more Just look at baby, a house, a den, a waha. Just in a hana shay. Shall one Casabra, no better ha. Hm, a more, and a sea horn, who seem more in the hole. Shall be a catas. No, just shall be a more and uncasa a catas, not shay, send young ones, not shay. Oshe e fi a e wa ha o de e more a mo de ya dok no wan kasa fansa ka ha na sha de just fansa ka ha sha de e de na wa ha e ye den ana e ha e na mo ye aduane e ton e ma amanfo e ma mu de sha insio no kra mu de ye aduane sha insio na e de yo ene we na e de ye sha difference sha we na sha we we na mudi mudi edu ano. Oh, see different. She saying look at the difference. We from usio. We anya usiopa. We are the kitchen ya manimu. We ne ya usiopa. We anya usiopa. We we from usio. We pipe. Eha. We na utong edu ano. Inti efi we ni na egu ha un peso obidi nesa beka na uti efi nuhu etong edu ano. Oh, dabio. Ni awa ho se se ni ha sitie ana ha na wo ye aduane nti sa aduane kra nya dia ye ba ba ha na ye nu awa ha ma me mo re ni ama ni fa mo re e mo re he ni ya fa no ha na edi enye efinu mu se efinu mu ni ya fa e mo re no 
And this I will find more the more a sifting moon now you feel at the best. Hanwa, what was the difference? So that's the Joy Clean Ghana campaign in our summer, summer man who's been following the team. Manuel Cranting is in the studio. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Manuel. Good morning, Mama V. I prefer you call me Mr. Clean Ghana. Mr. Clean Ghana. Is, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All over the place. That's when you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for the job that you do. I mean, sometimes it's, mm. Charlie, I'm not sure. The toilets. Sorry, if you're just having a breakfast. <laughs> uh, the, the intestine. The slaughterhouse. Charlie. I mean, like, it, we've seen very horrible things. Horrible. And sometimes... And, and I told a story of how one time I got out of the vehicle, the company vehicle, which takes us to the areas we inspect. And I just got slapped by the stench in the area. And I said a short prayer in my head that, oh God, if it be your will, let this cup pass me by. But as it will be, it was my cup. And so I had to drink from it. And so it's been, but I think it's been extremely eye-opening for, 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 for me, you know, going to the ground. And now I am absolutely more careful um, about where I eat from, even what I drink, because you get to see the conditions and the way some of the water even, you know, is stored um, before it gets onto the market. And so if I am not extremely sure about where something is coming from, I am not going to take it. And I think the story is pretty same for a lot of the people who have been watching um, us do the work that we do. I get calls and messages from people all across the country you know, asking that like, you should come here. Somebody mentioned um, you should come to Ashaman. It's a slaughterhouse there. And so I'm sure that um, very soon, a few of the places that we've gotten calls um, yeah. to be, we'll, we'll, we'll go there. But all in all, um, absolutely eye opening. And for uh, the places that we visit, yeah. we hope that they are better for it. There are times also that when you're watching and listening, you're like, why don't they just shut it? Why don't they just shut it? I've been screaming in my head like that and i'm sure the people who reach out to you also perhaps mm -hmm. see the same thing but i think was it madame florence Cucci who did uh, who gave out an explanation mm -hmm. and it made a lot of sense to me uh, i think it was something to do with the fact that if you shut this down the next place where they would do it you wouldn't even see yeah it. so it's yeah. better to control what you have exactly and and, and the situation that we see you know paints a picture of how dire it is an almost um, a very helpless situation. Because, for instance, the, this slaughterhouse we talk about at Aveno, it's really the only functioning slaughterhouse in the entire Accra Metropolitan Assembly. And so if you're eating from Accra, from Circle, from Newtown, from any of these areas, Kanisha, etc., most likely your meat is coming from that place. And so it's really terrible. The problem is if you shut it down, we're now going to have what they call um, outside slaughtering. And you, you'd have the meat slaughtered, mm -hmm. at, sometimes around gutters, mm -hmm. sometimes um, under goods only vehicles. These heavy trucks, you know, they have a really um, um, high uh, beneath so that there's space for people to even sleep there. Mm -hmm. And we've seen some around the Aveno area, they slaughter the meat around there. So now they want to at least get the people to make the place better um, up until when the AMA is able to access enough funds mm -hmm. to put up a, um, a befitting slaughterhouse for the yeah. um, assembly. We've also discovered through your rounds that w the person you see behind the watch or the kinky may not be the true owner. No, no, because no, no, we've no. seen people no, 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 passing no, no, no. on ownership to others. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> and <laughs> You see, and, and I think sometime last week at Choco, we got to a house because we had been to a number of other kinky vending joints. And when we got to that particular kinky vending joint, and of course, if you know the makeup of the Choco area, it's quite communal and you just have a shed in front of the house with the occupant of the house being the folks who are selling. So we got to this house, the shed was there, the kinky was packed, you had fish, you had pepper, but it had been abandoned. The entire house had been dejected. The only <laughs> organism that we, we, we saw in the house was a goat yeah. who had been tied to a pole in the, in, the, in the house. And so we got there, ago, ago, and then we are getting bleating as, <laughs> as a response. Of course they knew you were coming. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And so it gives me a picture that indeed people are aware 
you know, that this is what we're supposed to do. And when we post pictures, videos on social media, get a few people commenting and say, well, this is a good project and all that. And we think that instead of clamping down on them and then shutting them down, let's rather educate them. Let's rather build capacity for them to be able to do what we want them to do. But you find out that immediately the officers get to the venue. Some of them even admit and say, well, I'll, I wanted to do it, but I'm not ready to do it just yet. And so they actually even wholeheartedly receive the abatement notices and the summons that they are, they are given. So it's not a matter of, you know, they not knowing, because for most of them, that food that they are preparing to sell, they don't eat. And so they'll do for you, but when they go home or when they are preparing food that they are going to eat themselves, it's way better. Mm -hmm. And I think that we owe all of ourselves this particular responsibility so that if there's a disease outbreak, um, there's somebody who sits in a Trotsky. I share a Trotsky with that person. I get into the office. I share the office with a lot of other people who share, you know, their houses and so on with their family members. And in just a twinkle of an eye, it would have been a widespread, yeah. you know, disease. And so we should just do better. Just before we go back to what we should expect uh, today and in the coming weeks, just check, you know, Jimstown, there's mm. some mm. famous Inky <laughs> joints to me. It's right opposite the, 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 the former prisons. Mm. Did you guys go there? Is it part <laughs> of the ones that you shut down? You see, I think the strategy we use is not to disclose uh, um, 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 soon to be or would be victims. No, no, no. Victims. I'm just asking. Oh, we've not been there yet. The, uh, we've not been there yet. Oh, hopefully this one they prepare. Uh, the, the place is good. Uh, yeah, but I think I think it's also good they to. Because they can get the B. <laughs> 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 There's this legend, right? People say, "Well, the 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 worse the the conditions and the way the food is prepared, the better it tastes." No, 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 no. If it's beside a gutter. I disagree with that theory. <laughs> Absolutely. It you, makes... should, you should see the places. I mean, <laughs> that alone would discourage you from even smelling the food. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I had an episode. So, I could just tell you that. I had an episode after going to the slaughterhouse. A couple of um, days, even up to a week or so, I could not eat meat. If I get to, I mean, I'm eating, and I just remember the pictures keep flashing yeah. my mind. I just leave it like that. So you should see it. But you're back eating it? Well, in bits. It's and... Manuel, like, but... <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. But Manuel, let's talk about you're going back to some of the places that you visited because notices yes. were issued. Mm. Mm. They are supposed to have their places cleaned up. Mm. Mm. Uh, so what should be the expectation today? Yes. So in the past five weeks, we've been visiting various places. And today, we're going to one of the areas that we've visited in the past five weeks. We're not going to say which area it is. Um, we're just going to appear as, 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 so we just appear as we always do. We just appear to see if they're really taking notices that they were giving and the admonishments they received um, seriously. Um, failure for which I'm sure, in fact, we've gotten a hint from the AMA that there's going to be prosecution. And so that's the next level that we're going today. So you want to watch out? Well, because the things we've seen... <laughs> Mr. Samasa, off we go. <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. Manuel Cranting is my colleague, and he has uh, been with the Joy Clean Ghana team. Remember that it's a joint, it's a collaboration between ourselves and the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Thanks to all the officers who get on the ground to do this job. It's quite a dirty job. Not many people would want to do it, but they do it, and they do it so passionately. Uh, so... Stay with us as we try to check what you eat, what comes to your table finally, so you can stay healthy. We've got show business news with Ivy coming up next.